In this problem, we need to find the domain of this function and write the answer in interval notation. But to do this, I think we need to review when we have issues with the domain. So to review that we are going to have problems with the domain when we have a variable in the denominator or we have a variable under an even index radical such as square root, fourth root, or the variable in the, is in the argument of a logarithm. So looking at our function here, no square roots, no radicals of any kind, don't have any logs, but do we have variables in the denominator? Yes. So we're going to have problems because remember you cannot divide by zero. So our domain is going to be all real numbers except the numbers that make the denominator equal to zero. So what our domain is going to be is it's going to be all real numbers except the numbers that make the denominator zero. So except when x minus 2 equals zero. So let's solve this by adding 2 to both sides. So it's all real numbers except 2. So how are we going to write the answer in interval notation? So let's graph it first. Here's our number line. Here's the number 2 that is not in the domain. I need everything to the left and I need everything to the right of 2, but I cannot include 2. So my domain is going to start at negative infinity, and then it's going to go to 2. And now be careful, at 2 you have to put a parenthesis. If I used a square bracket there, it would mean I was including the 2. I can get infinitely close to 2, but can't touch it. Then my other interval, we put a union between the two intervals. My other one starts at 2 and goes to infinity. And again, you must put a parenthesis on the 2. So that is the domain of this function written in interval notation. So all we have to do now is go find the answer. So let's look at A. Well, it's got the right format, but notice it has a negative 2 instead of a positive 2. That won't work. B. It has the right number, positive 2, but it used a square bracket. This is just a fancy way of saying all real numbers because I'm going from negative infinity, including 2, and 2 to infinity, so that would be all real numbers. This only has one interval. This only has one in interval. Therefore, I think my answer has to be none of these. Therefore, the answer I have is E.